Now, you might be asking yourself, how did you end in this situation? You wanted to watch something that had to do with Python, and you're watching a monkey who is stretching in nature. Well, it's not that irrelevant, and I promise that this has a lot to do with what we're about to learn, because the topic that we're going to be covering today is called monkey patching. And it's an interesting technique in Python. Some will call it interesting, some will call it disgusting, but it has to do with changing the functionality of modules at runtime. And a benefit of doing this is if you want to create some tests for modules that rely on external sources of data, such as an API, you might want to create some fake data to make sure that your tests run consistently. Because if you continuously get random data, you will never know where your test is going to fail. So with monkey patching, we can go ahead and actually edit the module directly at runtime in Python. So let's go ahead and see how this works in practice. Now to make this actually work, we're going to go ahead and create a new module. So here we'll go ahead and type in Python file and we'll go ahead and say module, or actually I wanted this to be called sample module. So sample module.py and this will be our sample module. And we need to go ahead and import requests, which I already have installed, but we're going to be using this to make an API request. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in the function I had from earlier, since this is not the purpose of the video. We have a function that says get data, and I have a lot of squiggly lines. So we have a function that says get data, and it creates a request, and it's going to get some placeholder JSON from this API. Now we're lucky here because this placeholder is always going to be the same. So for testing, it wouldn't really be a problem. But in other situations, if we try to go ahead and call get data, it's always going to make the API request and we never know what kind of data it's going to return to us. So the best case scenario for testing is that we get a reliable response that we can check for mistakes in case our tests fail. Of course, you can make a test that checks for random input, but that wouldn't be too consistent with our testing. So right now, if we want to use this function in our main file, we have to go ahead and import the sample module. Then we can go ahead and check if name is equal to main. And here we can go ahead and say sample module data. And right before we run this, we need to print it since it returns data. And if we actually run this, we're going to get the JSON from the API. So everything's working perfectly. But again, when we create a test, this information can really vary. So it's important we get a fixed response back. So now it's time we go ahead and see how we can use monkey patching. So first we're going to go ahead and create a function called get sample data. And that's going to return to us a dictionary and it's going to return to us some sample data, the data that we want to use for testing, for example. So here we have user and Mario123, and then we have an ID of 123456. Now forget that this is not the same format as the previous JSON. This is just to show you that we're going to get a standard response back from our function. So now we have some sample data that we can test with to see if certain parts of our program function correctly. But what does this have to do with the monkey patching? And let me go ahead and show you. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and also create another print statement. So here we're going to go ahead and type in before format that. Right below, we'll go ahead and call sample module dot get data without the parentheses, and that's going to equal get sample data. So we are changing the module function at runtime. So now when we go ahead and copy this print statement and paste it under and say after, you'll notice that when we run the program, we're going to get two different responses with the exact same function call to the module. So here we actually performed the monkey patching we gave this function that belonged to this module a new function, which will help us return reliable data for our testing without modifying the actual code. So as you can see, every time we call sample module with get data, it's now going to refer to this one over here because we've reassigned the function to sample module for testing purposes. Now you're not limited to using your user defined modules. You can even go back to the sample module where we have requests and we can do something far more disgusting. Here we're just going to go ahead and return something such as hello with one, two, three. So now we've modified this completely and we can do this. We can go ahead and say requests.get, which of course we know what it does. And we can go ahead and assign it the value of get data. So now when we go ahead and print requests.get, 
and actually we do need to provide the parentheses, you'll see that when we run this, and we should put that in a main check, take this as well, we're going to get the new response, hello123, even if it requires those other parameters. And when you hover over the dot get, it will still refer to the documentation of the correct one. But here we provided a monkey patch, which allowed us to create a test implementation of whatever function we wanted to override. But with that being said, guys, it's actually time for me to go outside. So I'll catch you in the next lesson.